welcome uh, back to featured again but I did do a bit last season player ratings uh, after the game trying to get it up to date it'll just be still working a few things uh, yeah welcome to Tykes TV so again the point taking Abyssal Rovers some say it sent like a defeat picking up bones our poor Port Vale previous week going to Bristol Rovers no mugs, you know, decent setup. So again, I've we kind of realised that we areas looking at socials and that like some 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 areas highlighted and some positions which I want to go through with player ratings. Just as I'm doing this, been breaking news that Callum Styles look like he might be on his way now. Two million pound release fee minimum. Believed to be Bristol City and Coventry City. Rumour to be hovering about for him. So again, another another player that we kind of came back. He fitted into a slot. You know, take into account what were happening last week with uh, kitchen rumours and stuff like stuff like that. It don't board well. And again, I'll, I'll touch on that as we go through the player. You know, ratings and the the squad in depth for lack of. So, yeah, my thoughts on the game is that I went for a 2-2 draw. I thought it wouldn't be a draw anyway. Disappointed for me why in certain areas it seemed to be very shy, goal shy. I don't think we're really threatened. I don't think front two really threatened or created out and he kind of fantastic strike. But again, naive in certain areas we are from a corner. And again, what it a corner, want it a corner. But right from there, they took the kick. And they brought straight through. I'd have took a foul further up pitch just to just sort of play, stop playing again. That's that bit of naive, naivety. Just take a yellow up in there half to stop it, flow, pull it back. I'm not bothered. Just take a cynical yellow for that. Uh, but again, went on. When it was like, did it look offside? For me, it did look offside. <clears throat> but again, picking bones out from quick goal kick, we conceded. From you know, from you know, from them taking their goal kick, they conceded too quick. They broke away, gaps popping up all over, not switched on. And from then on, you know, they crossbar, we cleared off the line. To be fair, I think if Bristol Rovers had gone on to nick it, it would have been a surprise because we just sent to be uh, sixes and sevens at back. So yeah, I'll get to player ratings, and again, it's all about opinions. So let me know your thoughts. It'd be interesting to see how far I'm away. Some people might agree, disagree, but again, it's all about opinions. And I've got my own check on things and I'll try and uh, cover what I can. So I played 18th for 13th of August against Bristol Rovers, away at Bristol Rovers. Roberts, Liam Roberts, again, I'm, I'm going to get 6.5 for Liam Roberts. I don't think he really did out wrong. Um, I think at times he was like the Alamo he was facing. And again, I'll come on to that. But Liam Roberts, for me, one thing I would like to see him improve is his goal kicks, his kicking. It seems to be going out of touch a lot down right hand side. It seems to be drifting and way, you know, going way down. And it's like back again. Uh, distribution seems to be pretty quick on that. But again, from his goal kicks, it just seems to be a bit wayward. So something else that could be possibly pushed up on, easier said. Barry Cotton gave him a six. I was going to go 5.5 or a six. Bombing forward, not a problem. Not a problem bombing forward, but again, leaving gaps at back. And again, exploited via. Again, exploited via bombing forward. Again, crosses in, but again, to no real threats, if I'm being honest. Um, I'd like to see him track back more. If I'm, you know, other people filling in, up, filling in his gaps and getting pulled out of position. Sorry, going forward, but you need to also track back and that part of his game, I feel, you know, people might watching it might feel different, might say, no, he's a good all-round defender. I think he needs to work on that bit. Going for another problem, but again, is is position-wise. 7.2 for Williams. Um, not only did he try and tie up at back, and, you know, he were also dropping into that right-back position a lot, a level lot, especially even more so in the second half. He seems to be constantly getting pulled out from where he's playing on the right side of centre defence and he's going over and dropping into right wing back position just to cover up because Cotter's too far up front. I thought he was covering like two positions at the time. So for me, I'm getting Williams 7.2. Uh, 
Casper Wapita, I'm giving him seven. I thought his tackle, uh, last ditch tackle, possibly saved his, you know, saved a goal. I thought his last ditch defending, again, still learning, lad still learning. Positional wise, he's trying to link up, he's sat on the standing at back, back three. And again, we knew this was going to happen all day long from the summer. Getting and understanding a, a defensive partnership as well as your goalkeeper. So again, there's there's times I think it was in the second half we uh, I thought uh, Roberts were going to go for a uh, just collect ball and Cotty just like volleyed it straight out into building site behind. I'm thinking again, there's little moments like that. But and again, Casper Wapita seven, Lim Kitchen six point five. <clears throat> A bit frustrated in my kitchen yesterday. We were trying to bump forward and trying to, you know, create things going. But at times, I think when they were doing that, they were also leaving gaps um, behind and they were just like slotting in behind. A bit like right wing back position. At times, kitchen were trying to get forward, trying to get things going, but it just won't work for him. I give him 6.5. Some people might think I'm generous at that. Some people think I might be, you know, spot on with that. Again, let us, let me know your thoughts and comments. Mickey Cadden, uh, 7.5. Bombing forward, trying to get back. He, he was trying to link up and get things going down left-hand side. Fantastic strike on goal. Tracking back best he could. Again, trying to create things. We seem to be lacking that creativeness up front in midfield. Uh, not seem to be clicking. Um, and again, 7.5 for Nicky Cadden. Just wish that... <sighs> It could have linked up a bit more better on that side. It was trying to do overlaps and stuff like that, but it just wasn't working out for him again. Understanding uh, people's positions, but for me, uh, Cadden, 7.5. Russell, 5. Frustrating player. Uh, I think at times we're carrying him. Second half, I'm surprised he didn't get subbed off earlier with, for, uh, for Chapman. But for me, uh, yeah, he scored a goal against Port Vale. But I think a lot of times we're carrying him, just carrying him. And I get with his like with shorty numbers in midfield and stuff like that. But what's happened be Ackroyd, Joe Ackroyd, feel Chapman's in. Uh Ackroyd, I think he could have done a job in, in midfield for me. He wants even on bench. Um I would hope to see a lot more of Joe Ackroyd. But for for me, Russell, five. Let me know your thoughts on that. Herbie Kane again, huffed and puffed and Try to get somewhere, but it just won't wicking, it won't clicking, you know. And fair play to Bristol Rovers for that bit. They'd highlighted and seen what they had to do. Try stopping in play. I think we're getting frustrated at times. Again, 6.5. Styles again, 6.5. And I said at the beginning of the show, been linked with a £2 million minimum uh, release from Coventry and Bristol City. I can see him going. If I'm being honest, I'm, I, I honestly can't see him going. I'd be more surprised if it were Bristol City. I've, I, I could see him going to Coventry. They seem to be like uh, gathering a fit, bit of momentum right now under Robbins. Cal Siles, I could see go. Um, a lot of fans probably didn't want him at club when he came back. But when he has been playing in pre-season and against Port Vale, since we've seen glimpses of him, would he go? Well, for me, for a minimum release clause. Yep, I can see him going before a transfer window. So again, lacking depth in squad numbers. Let me know your thoughts. Six point five for Callum. Devante. I don't know what what can you say? Six. I'm giving him six. Could have been five. Could have been five point five. Again. Uh take me off for out. Jumping up for balls, not me really making it is. Not commanding out. Uh, yeah, it's scored an action against Port Vale. Coming into question, how bad with Port Vale? Or, you know, I know it's the game at season. Uh, I don't know. It just seemed to be out muscled, they are outnumbered. Uh, Mr. Lovers just seemed to do a job on him. And. It didn't seem to really offer out. I don't think he had really had any goal for it. And, you know, 
Max Waters, Waters, Waters. Five. Some people think I'm being generous at five. Again. It, League One defences, I don't think are going to be really worried or scared about it's, it's, it's attackers. I know we scored, like I said, keep going back to Port Vale, we scored seven. But you look at, you know, game again.